What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Alexis Kimberly here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my very last salon visit. So I'm going to be giving you guys clips of exactly what my hairstylist does when she text laxes my hair. Essentially, this video is a follow-up from my How I Text Lax My 4C Hair video, where I go into detail about how I text lax my hair and what my stylist does. But in this video right here, you are going to have an up-close view of exactly what I do I was able to film the relaxer service with my hairstylist. So if you are interested in watching that, then definitely stay tuned to the end of this video. And if you haven't done so already, for the best hair, makeup, and beauty tips, definitely hit that subscribe button down below as well as the notification button so that you can be notified every time I upload a video every Sunday. All right, so that's enough of me. Let's get into the clip so that you guys can see exactly what I do. So the first thing that we do is prep my hair for the relaxer. My stylist divides my hair into four sections and then bases my scalp using the Design Essentials Calm Soothing Scalp Protection. She applies it to my hair using quarter inch sections throughout my head and around my perimeter. Also, my stylist will apply the Design Essentials Restore Vitamin Treatment to my previously relaxed hair to protect that hair as well. The vitamin treatment fortifies the hair and protects it against damage from over-processing, preventing what's also known as relaxer runoff. Now that my hair is prepped and my scalp is based, it's time for the relaxer. From my stylist's point of view, it's very clear where my new growth ends and where my processed hair begins. She starts applying the relaxer one section at a time, parting the hair line by line in about quarter inch sections and applying the products to the front and back of each section. And the relaxer I use is the Design Essentials Low Lie Relaxer with Olive Oil and Shea Butter.
When she's done with one section, she moves on to the next and repeats the same process. Notice how she hasn't touched my fine baby hairs yet. As you continue to watch, you'll see that she leaves those fine hairs until the very end. Those hairs are really fragile and prone to breaking, so she makes sure that the product does not stay on my baby hairs for too long. Now at this point she's applied the relaxer to all four sections and is going back in to smooth out all of those sections that she created, making sure that all the new growth is completely coated with the relaxer. Now she is going back in line by line and doing a light smoothing of each section. As you can see, she uses a fine tooth comb 
and does a light combing of each section. She doesn't pull the hair taut, but just does a light stroke with the comb to flatten out my hair and stretch it. She does this to all sections before rinsing. And voila, we're done, off to the sink. She rinses my hair in the order she applied the relaxer. She washes my hair with a neutralizing shampoo and shampoos until the relaxer is completely washed out of my hair. She then goes in with the six in one reconstructive conditioner, which contains both proteins and humectants to moisturize and reconstruct the hair. Next, my stylist blow dried my hair, trimmed my ends, and we did a quick flat iron. I prefer more texture in my blowouts, so we did not go for a bone straight look. But yeah, these are my results. All right, guys, so that's basically it. I wanted to show you guys an up-close view of what my stylist does and just give you guys more of an understanding of exactly how she achieves my Texlax results. We keep the relaxer on for 12 minutes. She really doesn't do much in the way of manipulating my hair after the relaxer it has been applied. She really just applies it and then uses the back of her comb or just combs through it very minimally. And that's pretty much it. I know many of you have been concerned about the fact that you do not have a stylist in your area who is really proficient at doing relaxers or that just somebody that you could trust to apply your relaxers and I totally get it and if you don't trust that person then I say run far away from that person because if you don't trust them then odds are they're going to do something that is not in alignment with what you wanted so I feel you on that but I would say that if you are planning to do your relaxer by yourself, at least either one, consult a professional about it before actually doing it yourself or, well, and or, do a strand test. Do a strand test on like, you know, one of, you know, just a little patch in the back or something like that, just so that you can see how long you wanna keep your relaxer on, see what the texture comes out to be, see how your hair reacts. Is it snapping immediately there after me? I don't expect that, but still, everyone's hair is different. So I would just do a uh, patch test so that you are confident when you apply the relaxer to your full head that everything is going to go smoothly. Let me know in the comments down below, have you guys taken the leap and relaxed your hair? Have you been doing it on your own? What are your results? Are you happy? Are you filled with regret? I mean, let's talk about it. Let's get a conversation going. I'm just loving how we are starting to build a community and people are replying to each other and encouraging each other i'm just so happy to see that so let's keep it going leave a comment down below letting us know your thoughts what you guys have been up to and until next time guys i will see you all in my next video bye guys